all are non-metric. So, am I saying that by making questionnaire you can never apply T test? See, think about it, look at it your data and tell me the sort of the questions, closed ended questions you can make it, you can make a MCQ question, closed ended question, it can be binary, it can be ranking, it can be scale, Likert scale, Likert scale individual statement that is ordinal, ranking is ordinal. MCQ either nominal or ordinal, binary either nominal or ordinal. So, am I saying that the moment you make a questionnaire you end up with the non-parametric test, you cannot apply T test? Questionnaire in which form? If it is closed, then the MCQ is after non-parametric Nomin MCQ are always nominal or ordinal? Non Agree? Non-metric. Non oh, then the second one binary questions only two that is a subset of MCQ basically that is nominal or ordinal ranking is always ordinal scale we discussed that we cannot say on strongly agree is more than that. So, it is ordinal the difference between agree and strongly agree is it same between neutral and agree if you remember we have done this neutral agree strongly disagree their difference is same as their difference no so it is ordinal but i can say if a is here b a is more intense towards agreement than b and c it's ordinal so am i saying the moment you make a questionnaire you end up with nothing you can't apply t test because because on nominal and ordinal measurement it's a non metric measurement Non metric, it can never be normally distributed, you cannot apply. That will come when at least one of the independent variable is metric. Only chi square is possible. Yes, yes, I am saying exactly the same thing. No conditions apply, exactly same. Then the question you may ask is why people apply t test on Likert statement? You might have seen the questions. Okay. That is where we will talk what exactly is the Likert scale and why it is interval measurement, why people consider it interval. But before that let me just complete it and then I will come to Likert. Any other thread which is missing? I do not know where I goes in intermittently. Yes, so all these are uh, together li validity, liability, Likert and all them will be together handled and I will try to handle them today itself. But before that there is uh, one beautiful technique that is called as the regression. When the data is both are metric we get data like this. So, real data is something like this. What we try to do? We try to fit our e equation. Okay. We try to fit our equation and which passes through all the points. Remember it. Which passes through all the points. All the points means if one of the point is here. So, the regression equation will be like this you may say what what is going on well all the points are here why it is going here it is going here because it has been taught it has been told that you have to go through all of them through means it will consider that so the biggest enemy of this is <coughs> outlier the biggest enemy of regression is outlier one outlier can totally destroy your entire results regression is made this way regression is said you need to go through all the points now, you feel like this is a well you can just skip this point, but regression will not. If it is present in the data file, it will go through like this and the entire results are gone. Now, that is why if you got results like this, you forget. So, there must be some mechanism to check uh, whether it is ok or not. What is your opinion? If you forget, so are there further mechanisms available to check? Yes, there will be one assumption that will come later on, it will be called as residuals must be normally distributed that will tell there is outlier I will to come to that, but simple thing is what is meant by the assumptions assumptions are the checking mechanism you check if this is ok this is ok only then the results are ok. Now, line line simply says uh, ok. Okay. Okay. Correct. If these are the points, I invite you and I ask you, please draw a line 
through all of them. So you may come and draw this. I ask him also, please draw a line and he draw this line. Somebody else draw other line, third line. So number one, do you see there are infinite lines possible? Which line is the best? How to determine that? Which line is the best line out of all of them? What? Points? We remember the definition of line, the minimum distance between two points, it will pass through two points. Okay, I, I will tell you about it, the entire theory about it, but uh, do you understand I can draw a line and the, the observation was given, the, it was asked to draw through all the points, considering in between all the points. Now, if all of them are there, it should go like this. If one point is here, should it go from this or you should consider this also? When you consider this, will it be slightly tilted towards downwards? It should be correct and it would. Problem is this should be removed. A point which is far away from the rest of the point that is called as an outlier. Outlier is an observation. First thing it is not a typing mistake, it is a real observation. It is a real observation and that is far away from the rest of the observation, but that will affect your overall results. It is a sort of exception, but still in the data. The point is it is not an error, it is not a typing mistake, it is a real data. Correct. No, no, we will decide whether it is exception. Uh, how many of you have heard of uh, Mataji? Have you heard of Mataji? No? Okay. Let us say I am doing what is the effect of age on your uh, understanding on marks. Now, what is Mataji? You can Google it. Mataji is a person who is generally uh, uh, keeps a women attire all the time. So, this person says, well, uh, I am an ageless person. So, how did he come to in the picture? He was in Ahmedabad, met a doctor. So, doctor asked, okay, what are your diet etcetera? He said, well, I eat nothing, I drink nothing. So, the doctor said, how is it possible? You know, if you do not eat anything, you will die in 7 days, medical science so, says so. He says, no, no, I do not take that. I take uh, just like uh, flowers etcetera, I take my energy from sun directly. So, he said, how old are you? I do not remember, after 150 I start counting. Uh, so, I do not remember exactly. So, now this is the remaining part of the story is that uh, the doctor said, okay, I wish to conduct certain experiments. Will, will you agree? He said, yes. He was kept under observation using all sort of the cameras etcetera. He ate nothing. Now, medical science says after 7 days you will get a dehydration and blah, blah, blah. The doctor put an article on the some very prestigious magazine and he becomes uh, suddenly very popular. DRDO our defense research institute, they said they approach and they said we want to check it further. He said yes, I am available. They again kept it under surveillance. The water was given just for bathing purpose by measuring he should not drink it. The cameras are there. Once in a day he will pray something and then he is all the day he is there. Defense people say we have absolutely no idea how the person is surviving. So, this is still available. You can google on Mataji and he says my age is 200 years or so. He is still there in Ahmedabad available if you want to meet him. Now, my point is considering in India we are you know comfortable with this sort of things. The people with the best will say oh, no, no, not possible. We say yes, may be possible. Now, Mataji decides well it is a long time I have not learnt SPSS, let me learn SPSS and in JMI there is a workshop, he comes here as participant, right. So, I am noting down, I am doing my study, okay, age 35, marks are 63, age 32, 28, 22, 42 and then 215 and then 42, 32. What will happen? Have you seen this property? 1, 2, 3, 4, it is arithmetic average is 2.5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 100, 110 divided by 5, 22. It becomes 10 times by using one single observation. Just think of, I am in a class, my students, he got 1 rupee, 2, 3 and the 4 rupees. I said on an average everybody got 2.5 rupees, though none of them got 2.5. My conclusion is everybody and we make a policy that uh, whosoever will create a problem will be fined 2 rupees because everybody got 2.5 rupees. I made a policy. Then a new student joined with 100 rupees, 
I calculated okay everybody got 22 rupees now. So, whosoever will make problem 20 rupees will be the fine. Now, is not it a bad, bad joke with these people? I am saying everybody got 22 rupees in fact, they have not what it means uh, one observation tilted the mean. So, mean is unbiased you remember in morning I asked you when mean is there why median mean will do things like this it will create such problems take the mean uh, median median is it is 3 positional average if it is 1000 it is still 3 if it is 10000 it is still 3. So, that is a positional average. So, the fundamental question comes when to apply mean when to apply median when there is a variability in the data we apply median when there is a homogeneity we apply mean. If I work on a MBA class the entire there is a entry barrier of 18 years upper age is 22 there is a very homogeneous I should apply mean. Have you seen stock market never ever they use the mean have you seen that stock market all the time they work on the median because if you take the mean mean is nothing there was a increase in 100 rupees decrease in 100 rupees it is same 0 mean will be same but median we take median median is the position average. So, the point here is if any one point is there it can distort your entire one, but otherwise we will fit a line and the line will be y is equal to a plus b x something like that and we will say it is a regression. My point is it is ok we will handle it.